Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, when we access our admin logging, we get some of the error message. So it's meaning as a method, a session guard, guard does not exist. And I hope you already get that point. That is one of the spelling mistake as a guard. You can see I use that as a Z-U-R-A-D. So that will be the Z-U-A-R-D. So here we have already added, if you go to our web route, so that is our admin logging in our admin controller, that is a logging form. If you go to our admin controller, there is a logging form, there is an auth logging. I use that as a guard, as an admin guard, right? And if you go to our session, I have already added in our providers. If you go to that Fortify service provider, you can see that is our spelling mistake. So that will be as a guard, right? Z U A R D. All right. So that will be obviously on the guard and our guard name, I name it as an admin. Now let's check this out. If you know, click as a save all. Now that should be loaded. Click as a refresh. Yeah, you can see it's now successfully loaded. I hope friend it's very much clear to you right now. We are able to access our admin logging. And also if you want to access that logging page only, click as a enter. Yeah, our logging page is successfully loaded. So both of this place I have loaded which page? Both of this area I have loaded the same page. If you go to our admin controller, you can see I have used that auth and then the logging right right now the same things now and to do under logging with uh, our admin admin logging if you click as enter right now there is our another logging page is loaded and for the admin i have already seen some of the data as the admin at the gmail.com and password was password right now and to access it as a admin at the gmail.com and a password as a password p a w s w o r d click as enter now there is another error as a app if actions 45 redirect to factor authenticatable does not exist I, I understand what exactly the mistake i have done it means if you go in our admin logging into this admin logging i have already used you can see there is app for actions 45 attempt to authenticated the redirect to factor authenticated and also the locking response if you want to access it that is in our app actions and the 45 if you go to app actions 45 attempt to you can see that name space we have to update so they are actually using that default name space right so now we have to update that it will be the app and then the actions folder and then that will be the 45 here i want to update that will be the app and then backslash and then the actions backslash 45 right so now that is our appropriate name space also same things we have to update for our 45 here i have already added another file as a redirect to factor right you can see that is the same things we will get another error for this now i want to update as a name space as a app actions 45 which is totally fine and also want to check our another file as a locking response if you want to access our locking response that is our app http response here i have created as a locking response you can see that is also using that same our our default name is space so now that should be also changed now that should be in our which place that is in our app because which file will be loaded right here we have to add it so that is app and then the http and here i have created one of the folder name as a responses right so that will be the responses perfect now that should be okay so make that sure you updated that name is space in our logging response and then here also i let it load that our attempt to and then redirect i have updated both of these perfect now let's check this out now that should be work now click as a save all i want to check it click as a refresh okay click as a continue and now you can see you are successfully logged in okay now i am successfully logging in our wished out you can see now it's redirect to the admin dashboard okay into the admin dashboard i have already right now and to better minimize some of the file you can see in our logging response because in our admin controller i have loaded our logging response so into the logging response here i have loaded that admin dashboard it will be return redirect when everything will be done it's successfully done it will be redirect to the admin dashboard now you can see it now successfully redirect to the admin dashboard so into the admin dashboard i am using the same dashboard because of all if you go to our web route right now i close it i better minimize some of the file from to this position the locking response 45 
they have some of the spelling mistake before I have done now close it close it and close it okay now into the web I when you access that admin logging when everything will be done then it's gonna say I have already get that our route name will be slash admin and it will be written on the view page as a dashboard that is a default dashboard so if you want to load the different type of template you can simply load it in here right now you can see it is the same page and also right now I'm logging with the name uh, here you can see that is a name I name it as a admin so now it successfully display the admin because I have already discussed about that things with you in our dashboard into the dashboard page when an user will be logging if you go to our dashboard when it will be logging I use that authenticated user name that means which user is logging this username okay so now you can see it's now successfully display now I want to do uh, to check our uh, from here that profile will be not work because I didn't wor work anything in particular that positions later we will actually customize everything just our important things are out okay here we successfully done this job click as a logout I want to access our user if you go to a logging so that will be our user so you do the user if you for the user I have already created as a user at the way gmail.com and password you do me one two three four five right now if you click as a login yes you can see right now I am successfully logging with the user great so from here if you click as a logout successfully logout if you want to access our login that means admin logging successfully loaded our admin logging if here if you post pass that as user and put app inappropriate password click as a logging yeah you can see our credential is successfully working so now I want to update our admin and password as a password click as a enter yeah right now we are successfully logging with the admin our multi authentication is successfully working friend how that things exactly work I hope everything is very much clear to you is successfully done logging with the user I want to logging with the another user as a user right now I have only one user you do me one two three four five login successfully logging great great so our multi authentication is successfully done I hope friend it's very much clear to you so that is the simple step by step process you have to done when it will be a user then that will be returned directly to the dashboard and that is will be as a slash dashboard rather than that will be as a slash admin dashboard right great so here we successfully done this job so thanks for watching I'll see you in the next video